Hi everybody, it's James here from The Anvil. I hope everybody's doing really well. This is just a quick video from me to talk about three centre-back targets that West Ham have looked at. And the targets that are not the usual types that have been mentioned in media over the last few days and even weeks. As we know, James Tarkovsky and Nate Phillips have been mentioned time and time again. They've been mentioned even yesteryear. So I'm not going to talk about those players in this video. I'm going to be talking about three different targets that have been looked at, all of whom are reasonably good suggestions to have as centre-back options. Now, we know why we need more centre-backs in the team. We need younger centre-backs. We need players who we can keep on for quite some time, for years to come, and players who are healthy and don't have necessarily bad injury records. That's no disrespect to Zuma and Ogbonna. But the fact that both of them have got injured this season suggests otherwise and suggests that we do need to look at um, centre-back options. So the first player is a Brazilian called Gleison Bremer. He plays for Torino in Italy and he's due to leave the club because he has chosen not to renew his contract. Um... For a central defender, he's got quite a good goal tally. He's a very set-piece-loving player. Uh, what I mean by that is that whenever a cross comes into the box, he's always reading the ball. He likes to get his head on it. He likes to be a bit of an opportunistic um, player when it comes to set-pieces. He wants to try and score from them. Um, as a defender, he's got a physical presence as well, which is, I think, what was what we need. We've lacked it a little bit in the defence in years gone by. We need a defender who's physically strong. Someone who can uh, replicate or emulate Ogbonna, rather. Bremer could do that. Um, similarities between him and Ogbonna. Both have played in Italy. But Bremer's a lot younger and a lot more of a goal scorer, actually. Ogbonna scored a few goals, actually, for West Ham. Mainly from crosses and set pieces. But this guy's... Um, this guy is, um, just just loves doing it a little bit more often. And it's very rare you can find a defender that scores a lot of goals, but Bremer does fit that ticket. Up next is an Argentine called Marcos Senesi. He plays in the Netherlands. He plays for Feyenoord. And he signed for the club for a record fee of €7 million Euros from San Lorenzo. Um, it took him a while to adapt to football in Europe, but eventually it was worth the wait. Um, he has had to be... Um, he's a player that people have had to be patient with, I think it's fair to say, because when he first came over into Europe, he made a lot of mistakes. He was known for doing it. He was known for making mistakes in uh, domestic and even cup competition games. But he's worked on his um, physical strength and his build-up play from the back. Um, Sensi likes to spend a lot of his time in the opposition's half. Because he's always looking to intercept balls and to limit chances. Um, his 1v1 duels are what he's known for. When he goes 1v1 against a player, he'll come in from behind. Usually get level with the player, apply that pressure and then get the ball away. He's a methodical thinker, but he, he executes it quite well. Um, he likes to play on a high defensive line. He likes to play with a, a, another centre-back who can um, complement him. And he wants to play with um, two full-backs who like to drop back a bit more, which could hinder West Ham a bit because our full-backs like to attack. The David Moyes system, he wants his right-back and his left-back to attack. Senesi may not like that. But... That doesn't discredit anything about Sensi's style of play. Um, he's already tipped to be an international player and a regular for the Argentina national team um, because how confident he is. But he needs to stop taking a lot of risks. I've watched some videos of this guy. Sometimes he's a bit too eager to get into a tackle or sometimes he overthinks it and it ends up causing a slip in the team. That said... He has good defensive qualities, and that's why a lot of teams want him. Also, another player who's become a forgotten man at Arsenal, but is linked with West Ham, is Greek international Konstantinos Mavropoulos. Um, 
I have to admit, when he first signed for Arsenal, no one at Arsenal knew who he was. And he struggled to break into the first team there, so he's been loaned out to a few clubs in Germany. He's now at Stuttgart. And while he's at Stuttgart, and even just being in the Bundesliga, he's actually found a league where he can develop on his own terms. German football involves a lot of attack, it involves a lot of gritty and very um, strict play if that makes sense. Stuttgart likes to attack through the middle a lot. And that attacking through the middle mentality helps Mavropanos to apply defending through the middle on the opposite side. Um, he's six foot four and he's suited to the Bundesliga because there are some tall attackers in that league as well. But he's got tough tackling. And he's got good marking ability. And even in Germany, everyone's raving about Mavropanos. Everyone's saying how good he is. There's a quote here where someone said he defended flawlessly. German media is going crazy about Mavropanos. Right now, I'm not sure what his, his um, contract's going to be like with Stuttgart. I'm not sure if there's an obligation to buy in that. But it's something Western might want to look into. The Bundesliga's called him a gladiator. So he's got a lot of potential. And even some Arsenal fans are saying that he shouldn't have been loaned out because he's been Stuttgart's best player this season. And it's a good sign, really. you know. And it also shows they shouldn't sleep on certain players because although they might not be good for your club, they might go somewhere else and be really good. And Mavropanos could attest to that. So Bremer, Senesi, Mavropanos. Three good options there. But if I had to pick one in particular, I'd probably say Bremer. Because I think he'd suit all of these crosses and set pieces that West Ham like to do. And I know other teams are starting to take note of what West Ham does in terms of its style of play. Being dependent on set pieces. But Bremer can add something a little bit more to that. He can add more threat. So that's something that should be taken into account. That, and he's expected to move to a major league in uh, somewhere else in Europe. Thank you very much for watching this quick episode of Wheel and Deal. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.